Hey, this is Professor Perez. Today, we are going to take another look at the distributive property. But before we get started, we gotta get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, are you ready to distribute? All right, let's get started right there. We have a negative three times the quantity x plus four. Remember that the distributive property stated that you can multiply across an addition or a subtraction. In other words, you can get rid of the parentheses and that's what we need to do here. So watch, we have a negative three times the quantity x plus four, let's apply the distributive property. Negative three times x is negative three x. And let's bring down our addition. Now negative three times four is a negative 12. And remember, adding a negative 12 is the same as subtracting a positive 12. And so we get negative three x subtract 12 and that is our final answer. Now I know some of you say, I'm gonna skip that middle step because I know what I'm doing. Well, I hope you do. I recommend that you write out all your steps, especially when you're practicing on your homework so that you really understand what you're doing. That's how you develop your Kung Fu. Remember, you can't start Kung Fuing until you know what you're doing. So, write out all your steps. All right, now here we have to subtract three times the quantity x plus four. Now this gets tricky. Notice you have a subtraction and you have a multiplication. The three outside of the parentheses means you have to multiply. Order of operation says you have to multiply first, right? So that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna take three times x plus four, but in order to multiply, we have to apply the distributive property. Now, some of you might be asking, hey, wait a minute. Order of operation says to do parentheses first. Well, the problem is you have an x plus four in the parentheses. Those are not like terms. Remember, you cannot add x and four. I mean, you can if you want to repeat the class. Remember that? <laughs> you cannot add x plus four. So what we need to do is apply the distributive property to get rid of those parentheses. Okay, so let's do the multiplication first. We have two subtract, and now let's use these brackets to isolate our product here. So we're gonna apply the distributive property. We have three times x is three x and three times four is positive 12. So we have three x plus 12 in the brackets. But now we have a subtraction outside of that bracket. Brackets are just like parentheses. And so how do we distribute a subtraction? Well, we can treat it as a negative one and say, okay, negative one times three x is the negative three x and negative one times 12 is a negative 12. But we're really saying it's 2 plus a negative 3x plus a negative 12, and that's how we get this answer there. So that's tricky there. And so now we have to combine like terms, but order of operation says we're supposed to work left to right, correct? So we're going to rewrite these subtractions as adding negative numbers. So we get 2 plus a negative 3x plus a negative 12. And now, being that everything is being added, we can go in any order we want. So let's Bring down our variable term first. Generally in algebra, we write our variable term first in our expressions. So I'm gonna put negative three x and now I can combine the two and the negative 12. Two plus a negative 12 is negative 10. So we have negative three x plus a negative 10. And remember, adding a negative 10 is the same as subtracting a positive 10. So our result is negative three x subtract 10 and that is our final answer, right? So there's a lot of stuff going on in these steps. But you have to think about each little step because after you know what's going on, then you can start kung fuing, right? So let me show you what a black belt would do with this problem using kung fu, ninja style, right? We have two subtract three x plus four. They know, okay, that's a negative three, and I'll say negative three times x is negative three x, and negative three times four is negative 12. There you go. And they combine like terms and they get that answer, negative three x subtract 10. Well, how did my student get that answer? He said he kung fu'd it. Well, if he showed all his work and he missed one little step, he would get partial credit. But if he just kung fu's it and he gets the wrong answer by one little thing, he gets zero credit. He's gonna come back and repeat the class next semester. So, remember, you can't start kung fuing until you know what you're doing. So initially, write on all your steps. All right, let's try this problem here. Three plus four times the quantity, three x plus one. Here, we have a multiplication, the four times the parentheses. So we're gonna perform the multiplication by the distributive property. Remember, you can't simplify what's in the parentheses. They are not like terms. So four times three x is plus 12 x, and four times one is four, and now everything is being added. Let's put our variable term first, and we can add three plus four, that's seven, so our answer is 12 x plus seven. Now that was a nice problem, right? 
So let's step it up a bit. Here's two parentheses. Now, we have two times the quantity x subtract one plus three times the quantity x plus one. You have to perform the multiplications first, right? That's order of operations. But to perform these multiplications, you have to apply the distributive property. Remember, you can't simplify what's in the parentheses because they are not like terms. So let's distribute the two. Two times x is two x. Subtract, two times one is two. There we go. Now, three times x is three x, plus three times one is three. Now, notice we have subtractions and addition. We're supposed to work left to right, but we're going to visualize in our mind that subtract two as adding a negative two, and that will allow us to go out of order. So we'll say 2x plus 3x is 5x. Now we're going to treat that subtract 2 as a negative 2 and say negative 2 plus 3 is a positive 1. And there's our answer. That's a little bit of kung fu there, right? Okay, let's look at this one here. Again, we have 2 times 2x subtract 1 in parentheses. Subtract 4 times 3x subtract 1 in the parentheses. We cannot simplify what's in the parentheses, so we have to now multiply. But in order to multiply to those parentheses, we are going to apply the distributive property. 2 times 2x is 4x. Subtract. 2 times 1 is 2. Now, we're going to treat this 4 as a negative 4 because there's a subtract in front of it, right? That's a little bit of kung fu here. So if we treat that as a negative 4, we get negative 4 times 3x. That's a negative 12x. And negative 4 times a negative 1 is a positive 4. There we go. So now, again, we have subtractions and additions. We're supposed to work left to right, but we're going to visualize those subtractions as adding negative numbers. For instance, we're visualizing this step as 4x plus a negative 2 plus a negative 12x plus a 4, so we can add in any order. So we say, okay, 4x subtract 12x is the same as 4x plus a negative 12x, and that gives you negative 8x. And now we have a negative 2 plus 4, which is 8 plus 2, and there's our answer, negative 8x plus 2. So be careful when you're combining like terms. Initially, write out all your steps so you can develop your kung fu. Anyway, we'll see you again soon.